Gazime Feizi is the woman who introduced mozzarella to North Macedonia and remains the country's only producer of the popular style of cheese. She and her husband worked in Italy for many years, but after gaining the skills and experience, they decided to bring their know-how back to their birthplace, Gostivar, where they founded Casefisio Cesarina Feizi, a mozzarella factory. They now produce around 600 kilograms of mozzarella a day, which they distribute to hundreds of restaurants. And while the demand is high, production is not, as in the past few years, people have left rural areas in droves. There is growing demand, but we can't satisfy them all because there is a shortage of milk. Mozzarella requires quality milk with enough fat, protein and no water. Milk stocks are currently low because people have sold their cattle and fled to Western countries. So one reason is that people are abandoning cattle, while the other is that the government isn't paying subsidies. And while many North Macedonians have moved abroad, the government is now looking for ways to tempt them to invest back home. But that isn't without obstacles. We face a dilemma where although North Macedonia has the best conditions for direct foreign investment in technological development zones, the diaspora cannot make use of it. This tells us that the diaspora doesn't trust public institutions and the bureaucratic procedures enough to plan on investing here. But that doesn't mean expats keep all their savings to themselves. Despite lack of investments, North Macedonia still benefits from its diaspora through the money they send back home. The National Bank of North Macedonia estimates that since 2009 it has exceeded $1 billion per year. The money is spent mostly on real estate, tourism, weddings and most recently on dental services during holidays, usually in the summer. And they help sustain businesses even beyond those three months. The arrival of immigrants is very important for us because the wedding dress we design have higher prices than usual. We also know the dates when they will come to North Macedonia and look forward to meeting them because they appreciate our work. The North Macedonian government now plans to establish a network of successful citizens worldwide to help promote the country. And it might not have much time left to take action. Second or third generation North Macedonians living abroad now outnumber the first and they aren't as attached to their homeland. Bekimlachi, TRT World, Skopje, North Macedonia.